Hi everyone. So today I wanted to have some fun and compare um, all my all my Marvel Select figures with my Hasbro Marvel Legend figures, and just quickly go over why I like each one and which one. If you're on the fence about, um, do I think you should purchase or seek out this one? Is I thought would be closer. It's not the Marvel Legends one. Is by far the better figure. I'm not. I'm not a guy who who bases my purchase off articulation or why I like a figure for articulation. But when you need the articulation to make the figure stand, it's pretty important. This guy, he's propped up not only with this McFarlane stand, but I have his tail balanced on another object that's not even flush with this uh, particular diorama where that tail on the Marvel Legends figure helps him stand up. He also comes with the classic head. I'm not a big different head guy. I'm not a head swapping guy. I, I tend to just leave the head I like on for the, the duration of that figure's life cycle or, you know, or as long as I'm going to be alive. But he also comes with this nice beaker accessory with the... Uh, potion or whatever you know to transform him or something that maybe you know he was always messing with spider-man getting him to transform and mess with his life and all that stuff so this is a clear case of just better design better looking figure i almost think this is also too big if you bring spidey in here um well actually it's not that bad because if you want a big monstrous lizard i got him for cheap at a toy show so, didn't regret, don't regret the purchase, but this is definitely going to go to Hasbro. Next up, we got Colossus vs. Colossus. On the left is the Marvel Select. On the right is the Marvel Legends that came in the two-pack that I got at Toy-Con with uh, Juggernaut. This one, this is a, a just preference. Um, Marvel Select has a difficult time articulating legs. There's a joint in there for a sw it swivels and there's a joint in there that helps it like kick out but it's not locked in it rotates as you move this leg it makes it very cumbersome you can kick this leg out i'm not even going to try it's not even worth it there is a joint there and this will rot this rotates as you're swiveling this part of the leg it creates all kinds of madness when trying to articulate these legs up but if you just want a colossus to stand on yourself I almost, not that I almost, I like the Marvel Select better. They always use paint better. This is an old, I've had this figure for a while, so he's got some scrapes on him. The gauntlets are more profound. There's a nice gloss on the gauntlets. I do like this one. It's kind of a toss-up. You know, for me, I'm just going to have Colossus standing on the shelf, so the articulation thing doesn't bother me, but I could see it driving a lot of people who like to bows and pose and bend their figures and take wild pictures you'd have to go with this one so it's kind of a toss-up that's how he scales with wolverine you know i don't mind colossus being a little on the taller side but they both look great i really think it's just preference i, I think if you can get one much cheaper than the other doesn't matter who you get get the one that's cheaper is what i'm trying to say um so yeah both are good this one has, a, I do like the shine. The, the, see, the silver is painted better on this. The shorts are more profound. He almost doesn't even have like a penis. It's just like cut off too short. I don't know, I'm not trying to be silly. It's just, if you look in there, it's too, the crotch area, it's non-existent. Whereas here, it's, you see the length. I'm not getting stupid here. I'm serious. It, it makes the figure... It makes the proportions look better, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, this guy's seven feet tall. He's not going to have a little tiny package area. You know, it just, it is what it is. But both figures are awesome. It's a toss-up. This one is just a toss-up. Okay, it's a juggernaut, bitch. Um, you know, this one comes down to articula. If you like pure sculpt, pure paintwork, just having an awesome figure on the shelf. This one, hands down. This is, I've had this guy for about four or five years now. He remains one of my most liked, most favorite figures in my collection because of the detail, the paint. You know, 
this little part in the costume is sculpted on these little lines whereas Hasbro just gives you a black piece of paint now they use it but yet they're gonna have on the boot here this line is sculpted in so it's weird they like to use the excuse and diehard Hasbro Marvel Legends fans like to use the excuse well this is a comic book figure and in the comics every not everything was profound but you can't really you always use that excuse because you have rivets here for the bolts for the helmet you have bent it in dented armor which looks great you know go the extra mile and this should be pronounced this should be sculpted lines you know you have a little belly button in there which i don't know if that would make sense but i don't think it's a reuse of anything but the belly button is weird i like this one better now he had the same the same issue that i spoke about on the colossus exists here as well you will bend these legs like silly to get that that notch i mean i can't it's not here it, it's like this knee joint. See the, the the mold there? It's present there. You just can't line it up. It's in, almost impossible. These legs will kick out. It's just wonky. It's it's bizarre. But if you just want to figure to stand on yourself and look imposing and look badass, that is the one. He is incredible. If you want to take cool pictures and pose your figure, you got to go with this one. Here's the thing about posing a figure. It looks awesome for a single picture in toy photography. And if you have a diorama set up like this, and I just want Juggernaut versus, you know, the X-Men, you want a figure that could pose well. But when you, have you, when you have your collection on the shelf, you can't have all them dynamic poses. You won't have the space. You won't be able to fit a bunch of teams on your shelf if they're all in dynamic poses. You just won't. We all know that. We all know when we put our figures on the shelf, most of the time they're in a static, just stand there pose. Now, I'm not saying we should just buy statues or figures shouldn't have articulation. I'm just saying it is what it is. I don't always mind it. He has enough articulation where I can get those arms doing stuff and I can get them in like a, not a crouch pose, but leaning over and looking cool. I'll bring in Wolverine again. As much as I do like this figure, I'm gonna I have to give it to the Marvel Select here. Okay, here we have two Hulks. 40th anniversary, Hasbro Marvel Legends, Marvel Select Hulk. This is everyone's darling Hulk figure. I do love it. I love the soft green. I love the wash and the pants. Although I do like how this has the little white like rips if your jeans rip you know you would see some of the white material i like that it makes sense it's not present present here i mean you can go and do it if, if you have any slight skills matter of fact i should do that myself but i hate this head scope i hate his lack of a neck if this guy had a neck he would be my preferred hulk even though i still like this softer looking green i hate this head sculpt I hate it. First of all, I could barely see the eyes. Maybe I can go in and fix that. It might help the look that I don't like. It looks like a zombie. See how the cheeks kind of look skinny in here? It, it, it looks weird. It almost has a Solomon Grundy look, which if it was Solomon Grundy, I would, I would prefer it because he's kind of like a dead guy or whatever. Hulk is not. I love this head sculpt though, but he has no neck. You can't put that head on there. Too, the body's too big. This articulation is slightly better because you have that butterfly joint that can kick back, but it doesn't look that great once kicked back. This, because there's no sculpt work on here, you know, that looks, it just looks odd. So this to me is a toss up. I know everyone loves this Hulk. Everyone I see on Instagram when they have their team pictures, like the Avengers or a Hulk versus Wolverine for the classic first appearance Wolverine comic cover look, they all go with these, this Hulk. I'm here to tell you this is a toss up. I don't love this one. I think I would based on its size and has a lot going for it, but I hate that head sculpt. I really do. Another toss up. Okay, two rhinos. I w used to love him as much as I love that juggernaut. I still like him a lot. Um, these are two gorgeous rhino figures, you know, but 
where I talked about articulation not meaning a lot to me here, it's almost everything. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but I love, I still love this sculpt. I love this like chest plate, the way it's separated. And it looks like he has like rhino armor sculpted onto um, the, the, the costume. But I'm gonna put him to the side. This guy has a lot of detail. These little lumps, these little weird bumps slight bit of like brown in there he has all the cracks his head sculpt is phenomenal that is one of the best face sculpts on any marvel any any action figure it is it's beautiful i don't know if i could bring this in here as the train rolls by now as you look at this time marvel select by diamond select i'm gonna get this uh i'm gonna tell you why you know, you heard me talk about how articulation to me isn't everything, but I do like to have, I'm not a fool. I like when my figures articulate, but something this figure can't do is important to the, to the figure. And that's get in this like rhino pose. So even if, you know, you want to play with your figure and have Spidey, leaping over that that figure can't do it because that same leg talk we talked about earlier it is the 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 crutch crux i forget how that word is used the crutch of this franchise for uh diamond select any diamond select figure whether it be their pirates of the caribbean lord of the rings the crow bruce lee marvel figures not that they have a lack of articulation it's just weird you don't have to have a be crazy but it has to function at some point this is a gorgeous figure though not knocking it i love it i'm never gonna get rid of it but finally picking a winner and it is the hasbro rhino incredible figure here we have saber tooth now I used to think that this was this is one of my favorite Marvel Legend figures I've ever owned, and I picked this guy up a few weeks ago, and because I like the way, I like the Marvel vs. Capcom animated kind of beefier Sabretooth, and this face sculpt and paint is is better than that, but I like my Sabretooth a little bigger, so just based. This articulation is better. Let's get that out of the way. This has all the same things we talked about. You know, nothing's double jointed. Things move well enough. But I'm going to move him to the side. I'm going to move him here. Look how much. Like that looks cool. Let me take him out of there real quick. You know, that looks cool. I, I just like the way that bigger saber tooth tooth looks. And that's I, I just I just do. I just do. You know, when you put this saber tooth in there with the Wolverine. You know, he's big enough. It works. I don't hate it. But I just like my saber tooth a little on the beefier big side. I like him to be like a monster, you know. Like I like that look better. So I'm giving this to um, Marvel Select. So I wasn't keeping track. I think I did a toss up on Colossus. I gave it to Juggernaut Marvel Select. I'm giving it to Sabretooth. I gave it to Rhino and Hulk. You know, Hulk was a toss up. So I think when, of the bigger figure, you know, I, this isn't like a, overall Hasbro, Marvel Legends are superior to Marvel's Select. It's not, that's not what this is about. But the figures that lean towards the bigger side, the beefier side, if you will, he, you know what Marvel Select should do? This would be the end all. They, they, they need to make a blob before Hasbro announces a new blob. That's really a, a miss. They really should. But hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. I'll do it again. I have a ton of figures. 
I know other people do this. I'm not the first to ever do this or anything. I'm, I'm not saying that. But I have. I'm, I probably have a thousand action figures and I could do this with a lot of figures. So if you dug this, um, let me know. Leave comments down below. You let me know who your favorite one is or if I'm out of my mind. If articulation means anything, let me know. Put me in my place. I'm not a whiny little baby. I'm not. Like someone called me out on the Mezco thing where they said it wasn't really official that Mezco made the announcement. And he's right. This was just someone who works with Mezco, who's a, who's a seller in a group that got this information. Um, but the point is Mezco doesn't, you know, interact a lot with their fans anyway. But that guy was right. And I didn't like come at him. He, he was right. I admitted it. Um, so we can have these conversations. You know, I'm a grown man. I, I, you know, my problems are, are in the real world. They're never going to be on YouTube talking about toys. My problems are with like my job. I work sanitation and I want to raise. <laughs> That's what my problems are. So take care. Have fun. Keep collecting. Let me know what's good. Leave a like. I don't care. I don't want you to share my videos. I want this between, between us. I want you to subscribe though if you checked it out and dug it. Thank you. Take care.